Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you this new release from Guerlain. This is called L'Homme Ideal Platine Privé. And as you can see, I have here a bottle. Um, I already opened it today and I know how it is. And if you also like Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne and Louis Vuitton Imagination, they all have something in common. So if you would like to learn how this new release from Guerlain is, please stay with me in the next minutes and I will tell you all about it. As you might have heard already, Guerlain have released two new scents. One is this Talom Ideal Platine Privé, which should be a limited edition, and also Habit Rouge, Rouge Privé. I also have it here, but this will be another video, which I will release uh, most likely tomorrow. Today we will focus on this one. This is a scent which was released last week. I got them today. So today is 13th of April. And this one is a 100 milliliter bottle or 3.3 uh, uh, oz. I already um, tried it today and um, I know how it is. So here it is. The bottle, as you can see, looks exactly like the other ones from uh, Guerlain, which I think it's a good thing because they are very beautiful. And it smells, you will find out how it smells. So um, this is a dark bottle and it has this uh, smoked, let's say, gradient. If you look on the corner, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's not uh, transparent and the juice is colored. The, the bottle is, is like this, is smoke. These two perfumes from Guerlain have something in common. This one, unfortunately, is discontinued. This is the Lomi Dal Cologne, which is regarded as one of the best Guerlains. And this one here is an extreme surprise for me. I didn't expect it two releases from Guerlain at once. So now I'm thrilled to go through the notes uh, with this one, spray it, tell you how it was because I, I already sprayed it today and um, then uh, we come to the conclusions. So, As usual, Guerlain have uh, posted on their French website a few marketing lines to um, accompany this smell and I, I will read them to you right now in English. So, the ideal man is a myth, it's perfume and reality. Guerlain decodes the aspirations of men and creates for them a concentrate of ideals with a captivating and mysterious masculine almond. L'Homme Ideal, so the other perfumes from Guerlain, have a strong note of almond and a sweetness which makes them really popular. This uh, Guerlain uh, L'Homme Ideal Extreme is my favorite from Guerlain. So now I am gonna spray and I can tell you that the sprayer is updated and it's very nice. I will spray it on my wrist again and I will go through the notes a bit with you and tell you how I think this new release from Guerlain is. So, the, the sprayer is very good. Yeah, so, it's so nice guys. Like really, I am so surprised and impressed by uh, Guerlain with this release. So this is a scent which is citrusy fresh. Uh, I showed you earlier the Cologne version. Uh, I will tell you why uh, I also included that perfume into this video. So in top notes you'll have Green Almond Accord. In middle note Grapefruit and Pink Berries. And in base notes you'll have Haitian Vetiver. So, uh, not so many notes. This grapefruit, very powerful and pleasant and, and citrusy note, let's say, takes over everything. I sprayed today around 10. At 10 in the morning, I sprayed twice on my wrist, this new at the toilette from Guerlain. And when I arrived at 9 in the evening at home, it was very close to the skin, but still projecting quite a lot. This is a perfume which is very new. I am sure that they have not 
let them mature so much in the, the containers and then just fill them in order to have new releases very fast, now before the summer. So I do expect it to become slightly more powerful in the next weeks and months. Uh, but this one as it is today, it had over 8 hours of longevity on my skin. And on the clothes you can also smell it. It will not be very powerful, it will not project a lot. But it will make its presence known. So in the car I could feel the whiffs. You will have this green almond accord to kind of um, accompany the grapefruit. And I think them two uh, are, are having a very nice uh, uh, effect on the overall uh, smell. On the website, Gerland says that there is this iconic amaretto note. I don't feel the amaretto note, but maybe, uh, maybe I'm a little tired or maybe some people will. So if you try it in a perfumery, please let me know in the comments if you feel any amaretto in this smell. And then if you combine again like the, the pink berries with this, with this powerful almost makes your mouth watery grapefruit this gives such a great effect guys so like i'm so impressed at the beginning of the video i showed you the imagination and the guerlain l'omidial cologne i do believe that guerlain have discontinued l'omidial cologne for whatever reason and now because they know that that one was one of their most popular scents and everywhere on forums or on, on various uh, sites uh, based on Fragrantica, Parfumo and so on, people are very big fans of the cologne and almost nobody understands why was that discontinued. Well, I do believe that the new perfume, the Lomi Dial Platine Privé is an actual replacement for Lomi Dial Cologne. So, for me, they smell similar. They smell very, very, very similar. If you are a person who regrets that the cologne is not av available anymore, go to your perfumery, so wherever you can test this new Guerlain, give it a try and you'll see that it's very close to the cologne. So if you see on eBay or on various websites at high prices, the old cologne, don't pay it. Check the new release and you'll see that this can be a great replacement. The imagination from uh, Louis Vuitton is one of my favorite scents ever. It's a gift from my wife and you can see the video here. I can tell you that apart from the fact that this Guerlain does, does not have this nice tea note into this composition but it's very similar to the freshness of imagination. So at the time of this video I paid for the Guerlain around 130 euro i guess it's around 140 dollars or uh, 120 pounds if you see it in the uk maybe and that is half from 100 milliliter of louis vuitton imagination so i think guerlain in the genius decision together with delphine Nielk, they said okay summer is coming the perfumes uh, for the summer are usually fresh and beautiful and have this citrusy uh, um, note. They said, hmm, what perfume we have nice and citrusy from, uh, from the, let's say, normal range? Well, it, we had the Lomi Dial Cologne, which we discontinued. So let's bring it back for the enthusiasts. That will be a great new purchase because you have again the perfume you loved uh, before. And for new clients, this is so nice and so fresh and so, uh, let's say, ideal for the warmer days. So now, today, uh, it was also a bit warm here. We, we had around 16, 17 degrees in Berlin, but I guess 25 degrees Celsius and plus with this smell, with this beautiful citruses, wow, I think it will be a great. So, um, as you can see, I am very thrilled about uh, this new release from Guerlain. I am impressed by what they have done and they have released with this scent. Uh, on the website of Guerlain, both for this one and for the Habit Rouge, it's mentioned that they are limited editions. I sure hope they are not limited editions and they will stay permanently in the, in the range of uh, Guerlain because they are great. So, Apart from Neroli Autre Noir, from the L'Art de la Matier line, Guerlain does not have such a beautiful, fresh, 
powerful with sillage, pleasant scent like this uh, Lom Ideal Platine Privé. Um, even the Lom, the normal Lom, the Lo, uh, Lo de Parfum de Lom, similar to Mojito but not so powerful. It will not last at all as this Eau de Toilette. So I will give this new release from Guerlain a 9 out of 10. If it was a bit more projecting and it was a bit more, uh, let's say, um, original because basically it's a uh, copy paste from the Guerlain Cologne, Lom Ideal Cologne, it would have been a 10. So like if you are a big fan of imagination and that is a 10 perfume for you, you can easily put this new release on the same level um, for you, I mean. For me, it's a nine. I hope you enjoyed this short review because I only spent one day, not even with this scent. And please let me know what do you think about these new releases from Guerlain. And uh, please uh, make sure to check my channel tomorrow because I will also post the Labit Rouge um, review which will be a first impression perfume because I have not opened it and after I finish recording this video, I will record the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Bye bye.